Okay, what is with my lighting here? This is really bad lighting. Let's see if I can fix that. Uh, this is good as I'm gonna get, I guess. It sucks. Okay, so I just want to mention to a few things that I have noticed about Wish.com and their advertising skills that have been pretty impressive. So for the $15, $25 range, now I've arranged a few guitars here that I'm going to point out. So from the $15, $25 market <clears throat> to what used to be um, uh, Toys R Us, you could buy this simple little first act that comes with actual guitar strings they're made specifically for that size and i'm not sure where you get the strings from as you can see i've had this one for quite a while and it's gone to a few children's hands but i've managed to keep it intact and it has been kind of a foundationary guitar for kids that have gone through um, our house uh, which is I have a lot of nephews and I have children of my own and each one of them start out with that one it is a great little piece of uh, wood and string and metal and it, it's just it's great and I wish I can find the strings for it and if you know where I can find some strings for it let me just, just send me a little link or something <clears throat> now this one is a little parlor size that was um is a little parlor size so it's smaller than you know a real guitar but it's a great practice one <clears throat> i'm gonna show you the difference in sizes between a parlor and a standard you know, 42 incher. So you got the 42 incher, and then you got your parlor. Oops. Now, uh, this is a Gibson, actually. It's uh, actually made by Gibson. So I've never had any issues with it. Uh, it's a great guitar to practice on when you don't want to pull out a major guitar. Now, for the $20 market over on Wish.com, now this is where they got me. Um, they didn't specify on the sizes, nor did they specify the string materials. Mm -hmm. So I ended up getting this for 20 bucks. Now, it looks okay, but notice there's no name on it, so someone doesn't want to take any credit for this thing. And these strings are not metal. They they are made of some sort of um, I don't, nylon, I'm guessing. But nylon makes folk guitars are made through nylon, and they sound great. And this thing, I I've tried multiple times to tune it. And I've noticed there's no bridge pins, so the very difficult uh, task of restringing means I'm probably gonna have to tear this thing apart and hope that the wood sticks. Now that is on wish.com and you'll see that <clears throat> in the $20 range. Now there's a specific company called Glary that sends musicians guitars. Uh, I was not one of those musicians. Um, so I got a Glary of my own. Now as you can see it is a it's a pretty piece. It's a 42 incher. Um, the frets are well made. The strings are well sounding. But I want to show you one specific problem. And it's right here with the bridge pins. You can't really see it on this camera. But the, the actual bridge itself that is there to hold the bridge pins is not glued in properly and you get to choose if you want a pick guard or not. Now, when I started putting the pick guard in, it's just a kind of like a sticker. You just, you slap it on and there it goes. But the, 
issue with it is not necessarily in its in its um, man. You know what? It is a manufacturing problem. But when I watched the reviews on Glary, they were good reviews, and I guess I would review a guitar well if they gave me a free one too. But when you pay thirty to forty-five dollars, in which I paid about forty-five plus shipping, notice the buzz. <laughs> That buzzing will not go away. And I have tried thinking about different ways of <clears throat> uh, fixing this, whether it be gluing or um, just some sort of way of, of muting that buzzing sound. Because if I hold the bridge pins down while I play it, uh, it'll, it'll, take that sound out so I will arrange this in a matter of quality and pricing and so it's kind of funny how it uh, turns out because I would have said the Gibson Maestro a uh, great guitar, probably the top one. It's made by Gibson, so it's a quality manufacturing. But the problem with it is the strings as well. I can't figure out where I can go to get new strings for a parlor size guitar. So, as you can see, the size difference is significant. So I can't use a regular string. Now, Glary would probably come in second or third to the tiny little first act and this thing this little thing does pack a punch for its size and its price range so i would probably put glary somewhere like that halfway through and uh glary if you want to um uh, send me a free guitar that doesn't buzz that would be great uh otherwise um this is a real person's opinion on real guitars. Now, again, this tiny little thing I got from Wish.com is a piece of crap, and I hate it with a passion, and I almost cried when it came in the mail. Uh, the Glary I also got from Wish.com that in no way uh, stands up to a real um, manufacturer like Gibson, Fender, or First Stack for that matter. So, uh, spend your money wisely and do not fall for the tricks of Wish.com just because something is cheap. And again, I have to always say this with guitars. If it sounds too good to be true, it is. <laughs>